guys, welcome to this week's Warlord Wednesday. As usual, let's have a look at the news from Warlord this week. First up, is not so good for most people. Is <clears throat> on the third of February, a uh, number of products are going to be up, um, subject to a price adjustment. In other words, some of the stock will be going up in price. But what they've decided to do is introduce for a limited time only free shipping on all orders now the free shipping is an ideal way to uh, buy something before the price rise on the 3rd of feb so the latest releases this week are black seas we've got merchant vessels as well as first rate ships for spanish french and Royal Navy. So if you can see Black Seas, take a look at them. See what you can think. First rate ships especially will be useful as most of the Battle of Trafalgar was made up of first and second rate ships. There wasn't that many third rate ships. And uh, for Black Powder, uh, Sarasa Precision have come up with two new buildings which quite nicely fit in with the uh, Battle of Rourke's Drift so you've got the hospital and the storehouse so if you're planning on doing Rourke's Drift and you're painting up some colonial British then you might want to look at these uh, a couple of nice little buildings there to add to your gaming table for playing Rourke's Drift games and that's it really for this uh, week's releases so now we'll go back to what I was doing last week uh, if you remember I had my US infantry which I was doing I said I was going to try and get the first squads done well the first squad is done so we'll go to the table now and have a look at it I finished my US elite war infantry squad all 10 men and it's me Sergeant with his Thompson submachine gun, and we've got two BR gunners, one, two. Not that keen on this model, but it should do for now. And then the rest, it's there's seven rat guys with rifles. So the, all done, weapons done, have you done the boots black and all the bases have been done, just the um, Vallejo paste and flock, the way I've been doing the Napoleonic, if you've been watching the Sunday afternoon app, bases have been done exactly the same way, except I've not completely covered all the bases, some of them have done like halfy halfy, so that's it, that's the first 10 of my US infantry. I've got absolutely loads of figures to paint. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do is at the end of each episode now, both this and um, Sunday afternoon nap, I'm gonna put a, a screen at the end and it's gonna say how many figures I've done uh, so far this year. So at the moment I've done 28 uh, 28 mil Napoleonic French and I've done 10 US um, infantry so so far I'm on 38 figures for this year um, if I can keep going that that way by the end of the year I might be about halfway through all the figures I've got that need painting so that, that's my goal I need to crack on and get done a lot of the figures I've got so anyway at the end of the video you're going to see a splash screen before the credits as such saying how many figures I've got done and that's going to be on Warlord Wednesday and Sunday afternoon nap so I crack on with the next 10 this week as I say I think I've got 40 to do and I say I've had this army for 
a good three and a half, four years. These are all metal miniatures before plastics. So they've needed painting. So now I'm finally going to get around to doing them. So that's it. So that's what I've done this week. Uh, first 10 of my US infantry for bolt action. I've also got some 15 mil US paras here, which I'm working on at the moment. That's for something that you'll see in a few weeks time, maybe even a month, depending on how well I get through them. That's my 28 mil late war US infantry squad. Finished. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, there's new videos posted every Sunday and Wednesday. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, just hit the subscribe button. Or if you want to, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and see us next week.